All right, the last of the three basics. Unless this is what you're watching first, then it's the first of the three basics. ISO. ISO basically represents the current sensitivity of your image sensor. Low ISO number, 100, 200, 400, is going to mean less sensitive and finer grain. Actually, probably no grain if you're shooting that low. And a higher ISO number, such as 3600 or 7200 and so on and continued, means a more sensitive sensor and more visible grain. That's pretty much all there is, is to ISO. It's pretty boring. Even though that's all there is to it, it's a little bit confusing for me. So the way I understand it is, the lower the number, the more light you need to properly expose the photo. The higher the number, the less light you need to properly expose the photo. Does that make sense? So outside in daylight, you can shoot with a really low, low ISO, and there's no downside of it. You really want it to be the lowest it can be because it makes your image less grainy. And there's very few circumstances when you want a grainy image, unless you're trying to be like hipster or something to make a cool little effect. High ISO is kind of your last resort. You usually only really bump up your ISO to start getting noisy images when you can't reduce your shutter speed any lower than it already is without making your image blurry and your aperture is already as wide open as it gets. 